If you haven't discovered the joy of going to the movies over the holiday break, well, you just haven't discovered the joy of movies. This year, in addition to that monster film called Star Wars, there's something for everyone, from road chip for the kids to concussion for dad, and a whole lot of other stuff in between. Five new films open wide this weekend, including a remake of Point Break and the much buzzed about financial drama The Big Short. But three you'll want to pay close attention to because they have must see written all over them. The NFL does not want to talk to you. You turned on the lights and gave their biggest boogeyman a name. For openers, there's Will Smith in Concussion, a look at the pathologist who decided to investigate the brain damage professional football players suffer after repeated hits in games. Taking a little man fights back approach, director Peter Landisman manages to explain the doctor's findings and gives Smith a surprisingly good role to play. As Dr. Bennett Omalu, he's controlled, determined, and highly engaging. His techniques may seem a little hokey, but his heart is in the right place and he comes to the conclusions that make NFL executives cringe. Concussion is a quiet film, but one that has plenty to say. Look for this to be the choice of those who don't go to movies all that often. For those who have to take the kids to something, but they're not sure what, there's Daddy's Home, a Will Ferrell comedy about a stepdad who thinks he's a good parent, but doesn't realize how good until the children's birth father arrives for a visit. Everything Ferrell isn't, Mark Wahlberg is. He sparks a competition, and before you know it, the kids are sitting courtside at NBA games. The film isn't much different than most of Farrell's work. Two opposites are forced together, they clash, and ultimately they come to some kind of impasse. While Farrell is just doing what we've seen in dozens of other outings, Wahlberg surprises with some snarky ways that make you think Ted wasn't a fluke. Linda Cardellini is tucked in here as the wife, but she's barely a presence, patiently standing by while the two men try to one-up each other. Now, if you like Farrell's antics, you'll probably enjoy Daddy's Home, but be warned, this isn't another elf. And finally, for hardcore moviegoers, there's Joy, a David O. Russell look at the inventor of the miracle mop, Joy Mangano. More than just a behind-the-scenes look at Shark Tank, this wildly uneven film shows how one woman survived a dysfunctional family, career setbacks, and romantic disappointments to become a leader in the home shopping game. Jennifer Lawrence plays Joy, and she's just that, a joy, as she mops up a bad life and becomes her own brand of miracle. Robert De Niro and Bradley Cooper, two other Russell regulars, are along for the ride as her dad and a QVC executive. Both help Lauren sidestep some landmines that might have killed lesser actresses. Under Russell's direction, she glows, making Joy one of those films Mom will be glad she saw while Dad was away at Star Wars. A bunch of good movies? Oh, yeah. If you went every night between Christmas and New Year's, you still wouldn't see them all. With your Movies in a Minute, I'm Bruce Miller.